the year at Fanuc, you have had 40 years of robo-cut experience with your EDN machines. Well, not me personally, but Fanuc have been making robo-cut EDN machines for 40 years. The first one arrived in 1977 into Europe. Blimey, I mean, that is a lot of years of experience. And how have they evolved over the years? Oh, tremendously. Obviously, speeds are a, a big factor in EDM. Back in the early stages, it was a very slow process. But then we've gone into a submerged cutting machine, which improves the cutting speeds again. Constantly developing the technology to improve speeds, accuracy, surface finish. Now, for me personally, through my experience in engineering, when I was visiting engineering companies, you know, I'm probably guesstimating that I probably see an EDM machine in less than 10% of companies that I visited. But after learning about the product, I can see a multitude of applications that can be done on an EDM that potentially could save customers a lot of time and money, especially some of these complex gears um, and components such as this. You know, why do you think, in your opinion, that people are not kind of embracing this technology or maybe overlooking it? I think maybe in the early days the machine was a, a tool room machine and as a demise of tool rooms people have had to think outside the box and now you can do so much with a wire machine. It's, it's a unique process, very versatile process, um, so it's, it's becoming more and more known but it's still an unknown process as well. So if I was a, a manufacturer of a gear and I'm going to just use a gear as a generic example you know if I was doing that on a milling machine you know I'd have to use cutting tools you know if it was a really deep gear you know I'd have potentially a lot of problems if it was a really hard material again it would cause another lot another load of problems you know using an EDM machine this would eradicate them problems so for the right application or again for a multitude of applications that are within a machine shop this this could be a perfect solution for end users that are out there in the field for sure i mean basically there is only one tool which is the brass wire itself um, this allows to do some really intricate shapes and internal rads can be achieved whereas you can't achieve that with certain cutters deep components uh, you may need to broach at the moment Brooches are very expensive to manufacture, whereas the EDM machine is just brass wire to cut the component. Now, you know, there are many applications that it lends itself to, not just for low volume work, but also potentially for higher volume work in lots of sectors. Now, you know, I mentioned and I guesstimated a figure of 10% maybe of, of, of UK engineers are using EDM machines. I would imagine that, you know, that figure should be a lot higher, maybe 20, 30%. Do you believe, you know, I didn't have any experience with EDM through my career. Is, is it because maybe a lot of people have not embraced this technology because they don't really know about it and, and really know of its capabilities? Exactly. If you don't know it, you, you don't know what it can do. There's no reason why every engineering firm in the UK could not have a wire EDM machine for some part of their components. I absolutely couldn't agree with you more I think that it can work in conjunction with your CNC milling machines and your CNC laves now you've got this event on the 19th of February is this the perfect opportunity for people that have seen this video that maybe have a problematic component they're currently manufacturing on a CNC mill that could come learn about an EDM and this may be a perfect solution for them yes it will give you a great oversight into what EDM can do. If you're a complete new user, we can discuss your components, give you times, of how, little, how long it will take to cut, what ops are required, etc. Andy, thank you very much. Thank you.